What is up YouTube? It is your boy Animar Sports here coming back at you with another video and today we're going to be talking about the top five catchers in all of baseball. We're going to start a positional ranking series so let me down to the let me know down in the comment section down below what position I should do next and don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're down there. Leave a like and comment your top five catchers in the league at the moment as well. Catcher has been a very controversial position the last few years but I feel like this year it's a lot more clear cut cut there's a lot of pretenders a lot of contenders for this top five uh, so let's get right into it and start talking about the top five catchers in baseball now this is a list of all the catchers offensive production via fangraphs.com great place to look up stats if you haven't before uh i have it currently sorted right here by wrc plus which is a very good general idea of how they did offensively last season as you can see on top we got yasmani grandal and then when you get towards the bottom here you got guys like martin maldonado austin hedges i do have it listed by players who had at least 300 at bats last season so if there's any rookies that came up that you uh you know maybe expect to see on this list if they did not register 300 bats last season, I'm not going to include them in this list. It just makes a lot of sense. So without further ado, I did want to give some honorable mentions real quick. First honorable mention is to my boy, the love of my life, Angels Catcher. Just signed a three-year extension. It was actually the inspiration for this video because I did think he was a top five catcher. But after looking at some of the stats, I really can't do it. Uh, there's just not really enough general information on him. I love his spray chart. I love that he hits to all fields. I love that he can hit for power, hit for average. Uh, I also like that he's 87th percentile in framing. It's very noticeable when he catches versus Kurtz. Suzuki. So uh, obviously shout out to my boy Max Stassi. Hopefully with a full season next year, uh, we can put him into that top five discussion. Definitely a fringe top five guy, uh, depending on the day. But overall, I think he's just outside right now. Now our second honorable mention is Salvador Perez. Now Salvador Perez is the most controversial catcher in all of baseball. Some people love him. Some people hate him. My reasoning is he's average. He is the best offensive catcher in baseball by baseball savant statistics. Uh, when it comes to WRC plus, he was fifth in the league. But his offense or his defense is just atrocious, man. It's just atrocious. It's terrible. 30th percentile in sprint speed, eighth percentile in framing. Dude just you just not a good defender anymore. Like, I'm sorry. If he was even a little bit good defensively, I could put him in this top five. But just because he's legitimately the worst starting def defensive starting catcher in all of baseball, I have to put him outside the top five, unfortunately. Definitely six or seven, though, because of that offensive production. But just outside the top five for me. Now, breaking into the top five, possibly the most underrated catcher in all of baseball is my man, Tampa Bay Rays legend, Mike Zanino. Mike Zanino possibly is the most underrated, one of the most underrated players in all of baseball. He does have a fairly one-dimensional game, but that one dimension he is absolutely amazing at. Obviously, he hits for crazy power, 33 home runs last season, by far the most, uh, behind Salvador Perez, sorry. Uh, far and above most other catchers, obviously. He's also 94th percentile in framing, and as you'll see, I have a very high premium on framing. So if he hits for power and he's a good framer, I can't, I can't imagine leaving him outside the top five. I wanted to put Max Stassi in the spot, like I said, but Mike Zanino is the better catcher. There's not really anything, any way I can dispute that. Offensively, he ranks third in WRC plus among uh, catcher position, and he was fourth last season in war, so absolutely a stud. By the way, I am not going to be ranking Buster Posey, obviously, because he retired. He would definitely be in my top five, but uh, since he is no longer in the game, can't really rank him anymore. Now, moving on to number four, we have Chicago Cubs catcher Wilson Contreras. Wilson Contreras is a very, very good hitter. I think he had a decent season last year. Definitely not to the uh, caliber that I, you know, see him. He definitely didn't hit his ceiling last year. But he hits to all fields. He can hit for power. He can hit for average. He's a solid framer defensively. Uh, his barrels are great. He just doesn't really have a, a great eye at the plate. But still, a very solid defensive catcher and a solid offensive catcher. Probably the best player on that team at the moment as well. Wilson Contreras, uh, the stable in the middle of that lineup for this year. Next up in third, we have JT Realmuto. A little bit of a fall from grace here. JT Realmuto was kind of the consensus number one catcher in baseball going into last season. But overall, just didn't have a great season last year. 17 home runs and 476 at-bats. Played a full season, but definitely wasn't the JT Realmuto we're used to. 
Uh, it's pretty solid defensively, good framing, 58th percentile, very fast when it comes to catchers. Nobody's anywhere in the ballpark as fast as JT Muramuto. Uh, solid walk percentage, definitely a good hitter, hits to all fields, and I definitely think he could be the best catcher in baseball next season, but for now he's going to slot in at number three just because the two guys above him are just out of this world amazing offensively and defensively coming in number two we got will smith the fresh prince of chavez ravine uh this man's just good at everything he's good at everything he's not necessarily the best in baseball at anything but he's good at everything he's good defensively he's great offensively he's kind of fast he doesn't strike out that much he walks a ton he's just good at everything like I said, not elite at anything. He's not in the 90th percentile at anything, except for Chase Ray. He doesn't swing at a lot of bad pitches. But overall, man, just a solid, solid catcher, top to bottom. Uh, definitely a guy you want on your squad. One of the most underrated players in baseball as well. Will Smith doesn't get a lot of love, but he definitely should. This dude's an absolute unit. Uh, the power numbers definitely come to the pull side, though. That's the only thing you could really, really knock him for. He doesn't hit a lot of oppo taco, but overrated. Who cares? All right, so with Will Smith coming at number two, number one, of course, is going to be Yaz Moolah, baby. Yaz Money Grand Doll. Dude is just an absolute stud offensively, and he's definitely passable defensively, so I just got to give it to him with that. 100th percentile walk percentage. This man is a three, two, three true outcome master. Like Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo wishes he could be Yaz Money Grand Doll. Now, you might be saying he only batted 240 last year. Batting average is stupid, and if you like batting average, you're stupid too. I'm sorry. I'm just going to get it out there. I'll be very blunt, straightforward with you. Batting average is a waste of your time and resources. Walk percentage, 100 percentile. Strikeout percentage, kind of in the middle. Strikes out a little bit. Uh, but my God, dude, when he hits the ball, 96 percentile on average exit velocity, 96 in hard hit percentage. Gets on base a ton. Gets on base a ton. Unfortunately, he's probably the slowest player in baseball outside of Albert Pujols. That's the one big knock on his game. But he hits to all fields. He's a switch hitting catcher. Good defense and great offensively. The best offensive catcher in baseball. Can't really knock him for anything. So Yasmani Grandal, number one. Will Smith, number two. JT Realmuto, number three. Wilson Contreras, four. Mike Zanino, five. Let me know down in the comments if you agree or disagree with me. I'm always open to discussion. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.